Morning. A little while ago we did a video about the installation of gear driven cams. Um, it wasn't really a how to do it, moreover just showing you the process, but it did raise a lot of questions with people about um, the concerns about run out and end flow on crankshafts. So uh, we've got a bottom end here that we're uh, in the process of rebuilding and putting gear driven cams into. So I thought I'd show you how I check um, run out, etc. So uh, yeah, let's take a look. So we've got a DTI gauge set up on the end of the crankshaft. So essentially you could just rotate the crank and see exactly how much run out you've got. We've got about 0.1 on this fella, just over. So if we have a look in the manual here, flywheels. Run out of the rim, shaft at flywheel. So we've got two thousandths of an inch or 0 0.05 of a mil. And we had on our DTI gauge, 0.1, which means that we have slightly too much run out on this crank. Uh, we need to be taking this out now and getting the crank trued and then once we've done that we can reassemble it and hopefully we shall improve our fortunes. So we have the crank out, just a case of pulling it apart now push the pin out, true it up, and get it back in. Okay, so we've had the crank out, and we've had a crack at it, and we've got that down now with intolerance. We're showing too foul there. So that should be fine and dandy for it. And uh, we can reassemble it now with confidence. And that's all there is to it, really. Thank you.